My name is Derek Robertson. I'm a National Advisor for Emerging Technologies and Learning with Education Scotland. And for the past number of years, I've been passionate about leading games-based learning and games design uh, activity within Scottish schools. I'm not entirely sure that the way the badges work that's been going on recently is, is on the money. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff that's happening with it. However, I think that the way, the reason that Xbox Live works, the reason that a lot of these achievements work in games is because it's embedded within a context that has real appeal for the player stroke learner. And I think to just take that out and embed it within a learning environment or a school-based or a, a more formal-based learning experience, I'm not entirely convinced it's going to work. I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it won't work, but I think that I'm suspicious of it. I'm, I'm not convinced yet that it will really do what it does within the context of a game. I'm interested in things like body press and the way in which that can be used to kind of encourage and reward, let's say, uh, social interaction via blogging, etc. So I think there's merit in looking at those things. The next big thing, I, I'm, I'm always one that's been concerned with how do we consolidate and continue to grow the innovative practice that we begin a few years back. Because although we've started a lot of stuff with commercially available games and we've pushed that in Scottish schools and it's gathered speed elsewhere, I do, it does concern me that people might think that that's passe, that, that's, that we've done that. You know, so that for me is an, an issue. However, the thing that really is interesting me at the minute, uh, there's, there's people like Dean Groom from, from Australia and uh, his colleague on Twitter, uh, Jokey, uh, and they're doing stuff with Minecraft that I find fascinating. And I find it fascinating because it's done out with school. And what we're finding is that we're, we're having educators are using these wonderful contexts in which young people can join, choose to join. They can support each other. They can co-create. They can collaborate. They can stretch themselves beyond belief that may not happen in a school environment. And they're, they're doing so in such a way that they're, they're learning how to create and to build and to control and to code. And for me, that jump from the consumption of learning via a kind of a, a created game that you might be able to buy from the shops to being the creator of, of games and the creator of worlds in which you're richly and deeply involved in its creation for me is is really where I, it's like a holy grail for me with learning. That's what I want to see in our classrooms and no doubt your classroom too is young people taking control and building things and learning how to do all manner of more complex thinking via context that has cultural resonance and that has real cultural appeal for them.